origin. This is an instrument that is really um, meant to detect uh, biomolecules and to hopefully indicate the presence of life at some point uh, in the future. And um, what we really wanted to do when we were building Origin is find a name or an acronym um, that sort of indicated its purpose. And that's how it became the uh, uh, Organics Information Gathering Instrument. Origin is a simple laser-based uh, mass spectrometric setup and analytical instrument. We are using laser pulses, uh, which is produced by a laser system which are guided with uh, very simple optical components to the mass analyzer we use, the analytical instrument. That's the instrument that actually can fly uh, to a planetary body. We focus through the whole instrument, these laser pulses, these laser beams. At the other side, we lift up a very tiny amount of material, which is ionized. And when it's ionized, we can afterwards record the chemical fingerprint of that ablate the desorbed material from the surface with that instrument. So when we are looking for uh, life, we might be looking for actual organisms, which may be animals or well, more likely smaller things like uh, microbes and bacteria. Uh, and you can do that with a camera, but they might not always be present where you expect them to be, uh, especially in the surface of a, of a planet, which is heavily irradiated and they don't like to live there. But what you can much easier detect is uh, waste products or um, yeah, products that are related to the activity of life. And those become, uh, for example, amino acids, smaller molecules and molecules that are used as building blocks for this life. So what we try to do with Origin is really look for the building blocks of life, try to identify them. And when we identify them, we look for certain patterns. So. Uh, if we see really enhanced concentrations of multiple amino acids, then we know like, hey, there is a likelihood that life is present somewhere on this planet. Uh, what kind of life it is, we will not know, but there is a strong indication then that we have life. In comparison to the other life detection instrumentation we have in current space exploration missions, uh, we have two aspects. It's we don't need a, a sophisticated sample preparation step. Uh, we just shoot laser pulses to the sample surface we want to investigate. So we have no or very, very limited sample preparation. And the other uh, factor is our sensitivity, detection sensitivity we have with that instrument here. Uh, and together, it's, it makes the origin setup a very robust and simple analytical tool for future missions. So with origin, we have the opportunity to contribute to one of the big questions of society. Is there life somewhere else? If we are selected, if everything works out with NASA, for example, then we will have the opportunity to do it. We will land on Europa, we will do measurements. With these measurements, we will be able to tell, yes, there is life, no, there is no life. And I think this would be a quite substantial contribution to society. Are we alone is one of the most fundamental questions we have nowadays in society and to know if we are alone or not would have definitely a very big impact on, on, on the thinking of our society. I would say that it will even top up uh, the first step on the moon or when we uh, found America, let's say. I believe detection of life beyond Earth in our solar system has the ultimate dramatic impact on our thinking.